Hello everyone and welcome back to Surviving the Aftermath. I hope you're all well. Now, if you remember last episode, we started researching this hazmat engineering. I'm very, very excited about this. And we built a few buildings. We got these guys coming back and look at this. We have new trade deals available. So we are now going to see what's available. I don't think there's anything we can kind of do with them at the moment. I do want to keep money as high as possible for where we can as well. Um, it does look like there's a special deal on fuel there as well. So that could come in handy. There is potatoes. Is that because they're unlocked by a society building? There you go. Look, so we unlock potatoes by a society building. Now, what have we got with you? I'm looking for components because if you remember, we're getting well on the way to electronics. Oh, we have another blighted friend coming over here blighted queen right there so that's interesting i'm gonna send the scavenger to the world map actually i know i'm gonna send both of these to the world map uh is she still healing it looks like she's still healing actually so let's let her carry on healing these guys are on their way back as well um and we are gonna go ahead and get out here because i want to start to take over what i can so what's going on here Oh, that's the trade convoy there. And I know you mentioned to pick up the cars as well. That might be a really good idea. Huh? Um, this one needs to obviously go home. I think we are sending her to the colony anyway, aren't we? So she is on her way home. Um, he's looking okay. I could probably do with healing this guy up as well. So let's return him to the colony. Got a fresh, fresh pair out. So that's fine. Yes. And I'm going to start clearing out what I can as well. So I think dealing with these buildings is going to be a great idea. So... He's a scavenger. Let's start to make our way this way. I think we can take that one out. So Showdown. let's do that. And we can start doing the, the quests as well. Uh, we were doing the quests here, weren't we? I'm just trying to gather my bearings. These guys are going to be taking out this one here. What is she? She's a scout. He's also a scout, I believe. Yeah, that might not be the best to send there then. But that's okay. We'll carry on. And yeah, we're, we'll see what we can do with those. I'm kind of testing this to see if the tower will be able to... Oh, there's a blighted person as well. Oh, that's my soldier that's a bit blighted there. I'm going to just watch the first two, two episodes. Oh, colonist died. I've watched two episodes of um, The Last of Us now. And it's very much the blightness that you get in this is like the fungus in that, isn't it? It's very interesting. Uh, just seeing the hazmat engineering is going up as well. And we are low on tools. Not good. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so this didn't turn out that well then. Um, I think that's okay. We'll get this one healed. And we've made our new discovery. So hazmat engineering. I'm not going to unpause. Uh, I can actually. I can let that kind of do its thing nice and slow. What have we unlocked? So we've got a waste dump and our environment station. And that takes 25 components. We really need this. So I'm going to look for an area don't want this in my colony if I'm honest I think out here and what I'm going to do is just pause that up until we can find our environment related stuff so our components and we'll bring that down there and we'll also pop in I believe we need a waste thing don't we so waste dump is going to also be next to it uh, let's move it a little bit further away I know this is really weird but I don't want this by my main colony so that's fine. We're going to put that over there. And I'm going to bring this all the way over. That's going to be our little setup for that. Are we doing okay here? Yeah, we're doing okay. What's this doing here? All right, we need to pick up some more food if we find it. There we go. A little bit of food from the worm there. And we'll get these guys. He can kind of like collect the blight samples. I'm tempted to... Yeah, she's going back to the world map. I'm going to use her to do this mission. And then I'm going to grab the scouts to kind of do some fighting, I think. So I might send them this way. So I'm going to use you and you to go okay. that way. And then we'll carry on. But yeah, thank you for the love, guys, as always. Oh, colonist. Probably died of radiation sickness. Hmm, not good. Is there an issue going on? I don't think so. We have our little guard post over here as well, which is good. This work area. Hmm. Oh, we have a bit of food out here. Go and grab that, guys. There you go. Lovely stuff. Yeah, let's get back on the research then. So I do want to get some batteries, uh, some wind power now. Um, it's the only way we're going to be able to accommodate. So I'm going to leave that queued up. We're going to set this up. And I'm also going to bring in the transformer to reach over here. I think I want solar power and batteries in this little area. I think one more battery over here is probably a good idea. 
10 components again as well. Let's hold let's hold fire on that. We really need to really really need to find that. I don't know if you can find them as like a permanent thing. Two colonists are now adults. We have 80. We got shelter space for four. We still have a good amount of carriers. I'm just going to reduce these down. I'm just keeping an eye on everything here. Uh, meds is a big issue. We've got guys coming back with meds anyway, so that's fine. Uh, waste dump has been completed. But not a lot we can do with that just yet. So, um... Oh. What is this strange plant? Hmm. Leaves are perfectly square and red lines cover most of the stem. The person who found it is convinced it's some kind of miracle plant that can help with all sorts of things. What should be done with it? Find out if it's medicinal I'm going to go with. Plant is ground up with water and tested on superficial wounds and rashes. Plant has no effect on anything and is soon used up. There was a use for it. It wasn't medicinal. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. No problem at all. So we've only got a couple of irradiations here now, which is looking really good. I'm going to get another tower up in a moment. What I'm going to do... Oh. Okay. We will get back to that in a moment. An enemy is approaching our specialist. So he's going to join in on that shortly. Who is being approached right now? How may I help you? How are you doing? Um, what do we have here? All right, we'll get her to do this mission at least anyway. Uh, the behemoth. The first sight barely matches the description. The landmarks are different and the lair's nowhere to be found. On the way out, a small corner store catches the eye. Inside, there are some resources laying on the ground. 25. Food. That's good. We've cleared that one out. So we're on our way to this one anyway. Oh, that's what's happened. Okay. Um... Yep. You're evenly matched, so you're going to need help after that, aren't you? So I think if we... Where is she? She's over here. Let's bring her... That is a long way around. But we do want to go down here, so we want to start clearing these out, actually. Uh, help out little Anvil over here. We'll probably... Yeah, that's a good idea. So we'll bring her Sorry, this way. That. That's fine. Now I think everyone else is good. Right. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Cool. Get back into our base here. Silver stolen. A covert mission from an unknown source succeeded. Oh my god, how much did they steal? I think quite a bit. Surveillance vans. We have surveillance van right here. Do we need a second person in there? Oh, theft protection. We're now a medium or two in there. I'm doing that. I cannot be losing silver. That is not good at all. Now, if I remember correctly, we do have a few things we need in here. So we've got that. We've got that. We need the secure lab. And potentially starting the Doomsbay Bunker at some point. But the problem with the Secure Lab is there's another 10 components. I do think we could run this on batteries, though. Hmm. I kind of want it in here when that's cleared, if I'm honest. So if we can get this one done, potentially. We've got... Ooh, we don't have that much metal, actually. We're not consuming any, though, so that's fine. I'm going to speed it up, and we're going to wait for the wind power to come in as well. And then we can kind of get on that. All right, there it is. The wind power has just started. That is huge for us. That is really, really good. Um, what we are going to need to do is get a little bit more food on at the moment. I really need to clear all this out. So my my, what I really want to do is get this one completed. And then we can clear this section out and we're really good because then we'll have a whole bunch of trees here. Because at the moment, we're just relying on the planting over here. I'd like to clear out this side as well and then we'll be pretty damn good. Um, it's a, quite a big pollution ones. Can't do anything with blight at the moment, but it's more just the pollution in the trees would be good. Uh, colony scouts have found something. Have a look. Uh, a team of scouts has ventured a little too far and a little a little too carelessly. They have spotted a car among a patch of forest that appear to be in rather good shape. Unfortunately, they are not alone in making this discovery. Okay, um, I'm going to distract the wolves and we'll do it there we go so we got 35 fuel and a bit of happiness there and a minor increase beautiful stuff oh we just got hit again this is a nightmare look at this it costs two to repair that and it keeps getting damaged i feel like i want to move these out you know it's really really frustrating um what does that cost to repair as well just have a two on that as well i want to keep the battery good it is an absolute nightmare that's where all our components have gone unfortunately and there's unfortunately none for trade. So we have no longer got anything on the scrapper to use. So we're going to move across to these. We're going to keep that coming. Two colonists died of old age. Oh, we're getting attacked as well. So these guys do a pretty good job up close. So that's fine. I think at the moment we'll be all right. As long as we keep a couple. These are healing up as well. And then we can get them sent back out. Uh, let's check in on our guys on the map as well. 
Uh, looks like they're about to finish that one. Lovely stuff. And how are you getting on? Yeah. And where's my friend coming with you guys as well? Looks like we've got a mission up here. Hmm. Uh -huh. You. You're coming down to help out, aren't you? Yeah, we're going to okay. get them to clear this one. There we go. Beautiful stuff. Right, we are going to have to repair that, I think, and just hope that it doesn't lose any more. Uh, the fields are getting damaged. Uh, I know what the problem is here. So the lumber yard needs to be moved. We need to replant over here, I think. Because the other one is pretty rubbish there. It's getting taken over by all of this blight as well. Uh, wind power has been completed, though, and we've defeated the hostiles here, which is awesome. A little bit of gold there. Doesn't look like anything from the building, though, which is a little bit rubbish, but um, that's okay. I think we're going to carry on and try and take out a few of these and get our meds back up. Probably a good idea. Anything that we can take around here which is a really good idea, I think. So we'll, we'll do that as much as we can. Lovely stuff. We'll get back to the map here. Still ongoing, but we're, we're keeping on top of it. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to boost my plastic, and I might boost the metal here as well. Actually, why not? All right, let's see how much it costs to build some wind turbines. Holy crap! It costs twenty components. <laughs> um, so we need we need a what is it? A, a good efficiency zone for this. So I think we're going to have an electric zone out here. So this looks pretty solid. Now, we're going to start with two, but obviously we aren't going to build them just yet. I'm just going to place them so we know that's going to be a little bit of a wind farm. We'll connect these two up as well so they charge the batteries. We've got a group of survivors arriving at the gates. Bunch. Shuffle slowly hmm. towards the gate. Yep, we'll definitely take you because more carriers, the better. Now, if we could get on top of maybe three in these, that would be awesome. And potentially get another farm. We can do the upgrades at some point, but I'm just too concerned at the moment. So we're going to have to go one more there, I think. We'll do start with one more. It's a good little zone. We'll have a little farmer zone here. Got to be careful because we're getting right into this pollution site. Kind of need clearing out, don't they, for our food. And then we'll move in to check over here. So we have request complete. We're going to claim the rewards here. Doing pretty good with this one. And I'm wondering if... What have we got? Population plus five, population. Okay, Little Anvil needs a population boost here. So I think we're going to have to build which one. Let's go with the modest tents there for some population growth. And the society will deal with that. Lovely. We do have the ability to get a specialist here, but we haven't quite got enough gold. So now we have the wind power shrine here. Next, and we'll see if we can build one of those. And I think it would be a smart idea because a lot of our attacks come down here. I'm going to get a second guard post in just here. Kind of protect the colony from here as well. I think that's a great idea. And let's see if there's any way we can make a little bit of cash here as well. So we got these guys. I need you to kind of deal with that. What are you guys up to? You're still doing that. No problem. And you're joining. Hopefully we get some cash from these guys and then we can... I'm saving this one for that. You know, and then I can kind of send these back out now as well. I think just him in the zone at the moment is a good idea. So let's go back out. It looks like specialists did finish. So I'm going to do the mission here and see what we get for this one in the lair. Right. The second site looks more promising. There's an old water tower next to a highway full of rusting out cars, just like the survivor described. After searching a good while and scavenging a couple of useful parts off the car, it became clear that this was not the place either. Move on. No problem. So, oh, we're, look at that. We are kind of taking one on right here anyway. That is beautiful. So, what do we want to do here? It looks like these guys... Hmm. I do want to go back up this way, I think. I might go towards Chemville. Clear these guys out, maybe. Yeah, clear out this zone, possibly. There's a lot over there, so if we use these two guys here... Right, we have four homeless colonists as well, which is rather, rather frustrating. Um, we'll leave the maintenance depot here, and we are going to build a you-know-what, a good old shanty. So we're going to be on these for a little while at the moment, but that's okay. Um, where can we squeeze this one in? Let's just go here for now. Lovely stuff. 
and our field has been completed so we are going to do yet again some more corn in here and i'm going to put two people in there as well you know what let's go three let's just get it done this is going to contaminate pretty damn quickly though i think oh my goodness what is this nuclear fallout the horizon starts turning from blue to toxic green and the air seems to burn your lungs there are a few signs of the impending danger intense radiation is a constant threat to colonists buildings and crops wither and die during a nuclear fallout stockpile iodine pills now well, we don't have any of those how long have we got 17 hours okay so we're good oh i just finished a tower uh we've got the people to do that at the moment so that's fine i'm gonna go to the trading menu at the moment and i'm gonna see if we can pick up some iodine no damn it we're very full on those we can't so that's a problem uh okay not a lot we can do about it then we'll just have to deal with it and be ready over here i think let's get one more in there and we need to We'll get ready to uh, overtime that as well. It might be a bit of a problem though. But that's okay. Let's go to the world map. Because I think there's some guys ready somewhere. We won the battle. Hostiles have been defeated. So we've got some mealworms and some blighties. No problem at all. Uh, you are a scientist. So I'm going to send you into this first. And you're going to join in. We're going to clear that one out and get this mission done. And then what have we got? Everywhere else looks pretty good. What about these guys that I sent up this end? So, are you are you ready to move on? You are, I think I want to go and take these guys out. The ones that are moving around the map are not good, I don't think. You know? Go. Yeah, let's do that. We'll just yep. move them across for now. And hopefully they come and attack us. And then we can move forward. Because that's the way we're going to get silver, I think. Let's have a look at this shrine. Yeah, we don't have the fun boxes, do we? We have ten. We're getting there. So once we get that, we will get a shrine in for sure. But we can start looking at our next thingy here. So we've got a public house. Great for entertainment. Obviously, this is all entertainment stuff. I am trying to get down to the houses, but it might not be the best idea just yet. So what does that do? Durability on... Oh, that is really good, actually. Durability on those two would keep us from causing so much issues here. Borewell is lots more water, isn't it? Radiators in the house. Uh, large transformer for electric, big panels, battery stacking. Oh, we're not quite there yet anyway, so we are down this route. I might try out the animal husbandry next then. All right, an enemy is approaching our specialist. We have serious issues with... Uh, we're going to have problems with the iodine here, aren't we? That one's nearly done. Who's being approached? Ah, oh, these guys. Okay. A bad idea, friend. <laughs> yeah, let's take you out. Perfect. That's going to get us some. Let's see if we can get one for 500 here. Of course not. Scientist here. I don't think we can do a lot. We don't have the silver. I might get them to wait by the gates just in case. You never know. We have a blighted queen attacking. Please do come into our towers here. So these two towers should be pretty good. They should be able to do the, do the deed just fine, I think. Yep. Beautiful. That's even more blight samples we have everywhere, though. We probably need to collect these whilst you're here, mate. All right, here comes the nuclear fallout, intense radiation, and heavy rain. So we have no blinking water now, I think, which is a problem. Actually, it's not a problem. We're just about okay, and we've got a little bit of storage. Worst comes to worst as well. I don't think there's any moon rock. So we got to get through this radiation period, then. We didn't harvest, did we? Let's get all this harvested while we can. Hopefully they can get some, because that's killing all our crops. All right, hostiles defeated on the map. This is really good. So we're getting oh, oh, two tools. Is that it? Okay, uh, you are a scout, and you're also a scout. We're going to do it anyway. Um, see what they can get out of this mission. The behemoth. The final site fits the description perfectly. A highway full of abandoned cars next to what looks like a tunnel entrance. As the specialist is making their way toward it. A deep, threatening growl fills the air. A massive beast covered with patched, scruffy fur appears from the mist with its fangs and bared its back. Is riddled with spears. Oh my goodness. From survivors who tried their luck before. Okay. Um, we're going to hide in a car. The behemoth still posturing the specialist bolt inside the nearest semi-truck. Beast sprints towards the car and crashes against its side with full force, almost toppling over. Its massive claws tear at the car for what seems like eternity before it gives up. And then wanders back into the mist. Okay, into the tunnel we go. Oh my goodness. Yes, look at this. And the coin we need. 
Oh my god, with the danger still lingering behind, the dark highway tunnel gives some cover. Animals and human bones alike litter the floor, okay? Intact human remains lay inside. Backpack inside the main maintenance room tells another sad story of another scavenger who died with the runes. Okie doke. Beautiful. So what do we want to do here then? I think I want to spend a bit of time down at this end, see if we can help out clear some of these, you know. We're clearing that one and then we can move Sorry. a bit further. So let's grab these two. Actually, who's got the, he's got the goods, hasn't he? Yeah, you need to go home. We need those components, but you can come down this way. Yeah, you can come this way, and then we'll meet those guys. Perfect. Get him healed up, and then we'll send him back out. How's everyone else doing? Oh my goodness, look at the size of this thing. Bears. Hopefully, uh, that one's about to finish as well, so we'll let that one go. There's a giant bear roaming the map. This is scary. We're going to run out of food pretty damn quickly here. Because of the farms not being there, we're relying heavily on these guys. I might get a second fishing pier in, if I'm honest. I think that's a great idea. You know? Uh, where can we put it, though? Oh, we can't quite fit it. I'm going to... I'm actually going to destroy that. And I'm going to get a fishing pier in here. I think that's really important to do. Oh, we can't put that in. Is there another water hall here? There is. Okay, we might need to move over here for some fishing as well, then. Uh, That's okay. Let's do that. I'll get in a road over here as well. So this is going to have to come from this one. It will go like that. Lovely stuff. All right, what have we got to go? Oh my god, 45 colonists irradiated. Everybody get boosted in overtime here. This is okay. Let's get overtime going on those. Hopefully that will get us through this. Specialist ready as well. we got a serious amount of drama going on here. We have a lot of gold though. Rebirth. This must be located to note. This must be the location the note pointed to. The place looks like it was infested by creatures. Yada yada yada. Going deeper, the cause for eerie silence becomes evident. The floor plan suggests a two ways deeper into the facility. Either go through the offices or the assembly lines. What would you do? Assembly lines or offices? I'm gonna go assembly line. Uh, oh, this is annoying, isn't it? We could have got even more. It's okay, though. Fighting in the dimly lit hall has been fierce. The amount of bodies suggests survivors made their last stand here. Okay, there are crudely made devices. Proceed deeper. Oh, hello. After searching through a number of runes one by one, a weak muffled, muffled sobbing can be heard from one of the air vents. A closer look reveals an injured man shuddering by himself. He seems startled with terror in his eyes as he realizes that someone has found him. Do whatever you want. I am the last one anyway, he shouts. Calm him down. Okay. He's still shaken, but... Oh, this is the rebirth quest line. Sorry, yeah. But rel relieved of the surviving through contagion onslaught that followed. We have plans to rebuild necessary facilities. Sorry, I'm skipping. So if you want to uh, pause and read, that's fine. And carry on work. Go back. Find the blueprints of the Blight Lab. Bring them to me and I'll help defeat the Blight before it runs over your colony as well. All right, so that's going to help us with something to do with Blight, which is awesome. So who's got the goods? She's got a lot on her, so we're going to send her home. I don't think you've got anything, so I'm going to send you this way to fight with her, and we're going to take out this one, I think. I'm going to start clearing out some of these, and we'll probably grab those fun boxes as well. So we can go back in now, and we can take this just in time. We're going to recruit you. We're low on clothes here. Colonist under attack. No, we're fine. There's something going on over here. That we might need to deal with. Is it another worm? I'm just looking in the ground. Yes, it is. Okay, we're going to have to try and deal with this sandworm as much as we can. So I'll shoot it and then run him back. Sorry, colonist. And then we'll get a tower over here. I might move it over. I'll keep an eye on him. I'm going to pull him away when we can. I don't want him to get too injured. So I'm going to slowly work the sandworm down. I don't know if it if it regenerates. Oh god, you're going to have to help over here, mate. The bears have came. There's some colonists dying. Um, yeah, that's not good. We don't want Fritz to die. It doesn't look like it, it repairs, which is good. Oh, We're probably going to lose a few to this, the, the, the stuff here. Time to bury the dead. Heal the wound and rebuild what was lost. What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't know what just happened. Oh well, there's some more coin there. All right, we're going to take you guys straight over here. 
and we'll get the balance of power going on this. Take out that one. We'll start working our way through all of these, I think. I don't know what just happened when it said that. You have to let me know on that. We lost the battle. Is that this? Maybe? Hmm. Right, how are you doing? Your work area, you've got no more concrete, so we're going to move that over here. Okay, Edward, I'm very sorry. Fritz, you're doing okay, and I'm going to grab Sobek. Kill this, and I'm going to see if we can micro these guys to take that sandworm down, because there's not a lot we can do whilst they're there. This is a problem, obviously. All the colonists dying. I don't think we have the burial space for this right now. What the hell is going on? Right, we need to take the guys out of here. I've just realized we've got no one able to do anything because everyone's just dying. This could be really bad. We need to try and rebuild somehow. Um, the good news is the thingy's gone, so we just need to heal everyone up. So no free carriers left. Overtime still running on these three. We're fine. I don't think that's going to be the end of us, which is good. I uh, don't know how long's left on that sandworm either. Let's keep it playing. We'll just have to let them die at the moment. Not a lot we can do. Ended pretty badly, mind. See if we can get a few hits on this guy here. And then we'll pull them back. How are we doing? All right, you need to come back. And you can get back in. Yeah, more deaths. I know, I know. We're trying our hardest here. Can we take that out before anyone dies? I don't want to lose anyone. That's the problem here. Right, we're going to have to heal up. I don't want it to come too close here. That's going to be a close call. All right, 14 colonists are irradiated. We are constant death here. I know there's not a lot. I, I don't have the pills or anything to deal with it. So we've just got to... Uh, what can we do here? Let's make sure we can accommodate stuff. Yeah, there's no one can go in the moon rocks. We've got one carrier water well contaminated. Let's decontaminate that. We've got no one that can actually do it right now, but that's okay. All right, here we go. So we're going to get colonists are under attack. They're still getting done over here. So let's um, see what's going on. We've had a bit of a disaster here. What's going on there? New request. That's this one, isn't it? All right, what do they want? Uh... Rewards, rampaging boars, and we're doing. Oh, we're doing that one. That's fine. So we got rampaging boars that we need to take. Oh, this is perfect. Let's uh, change our strat here. Ready. How you doing? Let's um, retreat that a second. We're going to take on these because that is part of our thing. So, yeah, I know, I know. We're dealing with this first, okay? Showtime. Bad balance of power. So all three of you can kind of take this out. There we go. Lovely stuff. Right. We need meds. Look at all these dead bodies. Right. We need carriers. We need meds. All right. So we're going to need another burial pit here. We do have the ranch, which is nice. All right. We are... Where is it? Oh, yeah. It would be here. Burial pit. This isn't good, though. We've kind of taken a big hit over here. we got one carrier right now. That's okay. Problem is, I do want to get my farms back up and running. You know? Oh, we got one in each, so we will take that. We're going to have to reduce... No! Oh, no! Get out of there! We lost Fritz! Yeah, we need to get a tower up over here. Let's keep you running. I don't want, want the towers to deal with it. There we go. Right, you collect that. Right, you've got to stay there now. I know you're a scout, but let's get another tower over this side. So we need a guard post, I think. I reckon we could get those in. I know that we can't actually do anything yet, but... All right, work has begun to pile up. It's a busy day of work yep. and duties. Yet one colonist has oddly stopped... He's lying on his back, simply staring at the open sky. When questioned why he's lying there, he smiles wide. Half toothless, smile and sighs. After everything that's happened, we were given a second chance at life, so why don't you... Lazy solution. Tell him to snap out of it. There we go. That was the right answer. The births are good. If we can get some to grow up, we are okay. Um, we're just going to need... Lumbiard is out as well, which isn't good. Let's move over here. Specialist ready for action. Who's ready for action here? We're going to be careful we don't lose people here. We can buy the next one, though, which is always okay. Who's ready? Okay, we're going to take the tough raiders out with these two. There we go. I know they're going to take a bit of damage, but we will do it anyway. Clear those guys out. Hopefully we'll get something from that. More gold. We're going to need to buy in more specialists, so 
All right, we could probably get away with um, reducing down our food stuff at the moment because of the population decrease. I know that sounds a bit morbid and stuff, but that's it is what it is. You know, we've got that guard post up now, which is ideal. Um, we'll keep one in there. We've got two carriers, so we will be able to get stuff done. The sandworm is gone, at least, as well, which is good. Um, I'm hoping these guys... Yeah, they are. Yay, they failed because we are medium. Lovely stuff. Okay, hostile defeated as well. We'll finish this one up. Request complete. Request complete. Good stuff. So we are going to have to send these guys back to the colony, unfortunately, because they are so weak right now. But all of you can go back to the colony. How are you doing? You're okay. Yeah, grab those whilst you're here, and then you can go home as well. That's fine. We've got request complete. Which is good to know. So we can grab our reward here. So we got 75 reps and fiber and some food. Awesome stuff. Right. I think we got through the worst of it, which is good. We did lose our first specialist there, which is a little bit sad. But that is going to be where we end out, guys. As always, smash that thumbs up for me. We have serious disaster problems, as you can see. Sub to the channel if you are new around here. Please do let me know any tips or anything like that as well to kind of mitigate this. I know that we didn't have meds and we still don't. It's a problem. But other than that, take it easy, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.